Is that a rock? What? Is that a rock? Where? So last night I was watching a podcast. It was a Joe Rogan podcast, and he had Robert Downey Jr. And Robert said something that honestly stuck with me the whole night. This, this concept of things just sort of falling into place. I'm I'm a big believer in that too. Yeah. What what is that though? Is that you getting out of your own way? Like what what is that? Is it? Isn't that seventy percent of it? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's seventy percent maintenance of what can I do to do my part to stay out of the way. And then the other part, I always think of it as like this little super thin uh, invisible thread, but you can feel the tug and you just kind of, you have to be really gentle and you have to pause when agitated and you have to go for it when you go like, there's four walls in here, which one has the map behind it? You, it's that one. And you knock down the wall and it's there. 70% of our lives is getting out of our own way, 70%. You know, when you think about that, that has a lot of power behind it. If you actually grasp what that sentence is trying to say. But the thought that 70% of our lives is getting out of our own way, not John's way, not Pepe's way, but your way. And I thought about that and I let that sink in. I didn't finish the podcast because it was late. I just happened to see it. It was in the trending and I started you know, I started looking at it and listening to it and watching it. And by the way, Robert Downey Jr., he's a great guy. I hope that Joe Rogan has him more often in the podcast. You know, when I read through the comments, not a lot of people were talking about that one statement. That's pretty much what I want to talk about right now. Okay, so here's the thing. A lot of us have ambitions. We have dreams. We have things that we want to accomplish. And there comes times in our lives where we just stop doing these things. Have you ever just sat down and wondered, why did you do this? You know, we like to blame certain things, certain circumstances, events, people, and granted, I understand. But, you know, how, how are all these things stopping you? I understand that a lot of events are really emotional. Now, keep in mind that this is actually coming from someone that's struggling with this as well. I know that a lot of these events cut deep and it's sometimes hard to just bounce back. I guess the word that I'm trying to say is resilient. Sometimes it's just really hard to be resilient. But at the end of the day, it's all in your head. You know that I have so many ambitions. I love filmmaking. I love making videos, whether I'm really good at it or not. This is just a passion that I have. Normally, I'm a systems administrator, but I'm slowly starting to dislike that type of work. Now, don't get me wrong. I love computers and I love being behind one, especially when it's editing time. But I just don't know that I want to do that anymore. And that's the main thing that I wanted to bring to this video. Clearly, I know exactly what I want to do, but I don't want to do it, and I don't know why. See, we like to stop ourselves from doing the things that we truly want to do. We're constantly getting in our own way, which is not allowing us to do what we really want to do. And that's where I find myself now, and that's why what Robert Downey Jr. said hit me really hard. Anyway, so if you liked the video, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this topic. I know it was really random, but I was watching this podcast and it definitely hit home. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Right, Molly? <laughs> Is that a rock? What? Is that a rock? Where? Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you bringing rocks? <laughs> what is with you? I'm just...